today we're going to be talking about Tears of the Kingdom. I know, what a shocker. We seem to talk about it every single day. And heck, I'm at PAX East, so I can't help it because every time I walk into the damn building, they shove a Link statue in my damn face. So if we are completely honest, Tears of the Kingdom is going to be on my mind pretty much till the game comes out. So yeah, we're going to post a lot of Zelda content. We are not a Zelda YouTube channel. But, you know, I do like talking about Zelda, and honestly, there really isn't a lot of other interesting things going on news-wise with Nintendo at the moment uh, that is really worth watching or paying attention to, besides maybe some stuff that I have going on here at PAX East, playing some game devils and stuff, I'll have a bunch of footage for you. Uh, if that's not your kind of thing, you could just not watch those videos, but... What I want to talk about right now is the Master Sword because something new has happened. We actually have something new for Tears of the Kingdom from Nintendo. Now, before we dive into this, I want to remind you that we are on our road to 100,000 subscribers. And if we somehow get there, by the time Tears of the Kingdom comes out, we will give away a collector's edition of Tears of the Kingdom, and I think I might be throwing in the pin for of Tears of the Kingdom from PAX East as well. We'll see on that. I already have one working on getting some more. Now, why are we talking about the Master Sword? Obviously, we've known the Master Sword is broken and yada, 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 but that's because we have a new piece of art coming from Nintendo through a trademark. They have trademarked a new trademark for the master sword and it just comes with an image and that image is literally the broken master sword with the swirls and some text that isn't translated at this point swirling around it as well and what's obvious here and it's been obvious for a while is that the master sword is some sort of central theme to the game in some way whether it's well what most people think we're going to do repair the sword or whether this is just going to be the Master Sword's final hurrah, at least in terms of how this series manages things. It's, it's very difficult to look forward and wonder what is going to happen, because what if this is it? We travel through time, we do some crazy stuff, and the Master Sword is done. So first off, I want your thoughts on what's happening with the Master Sword down in the comments below, because I'm, I'm ready for all of those crazy theories. But me personally, I think there's a couple interesting aspects to the Master Sword. One, and I've talked about this for a while, but it's been a bit since I brought it up, Demise was sealed inside the Master Sword, and we actually heard five from Skyward Sword speak a little bit, a smidge, in Breath of the Wild, suggesting that maybe that seal was already being broken. And with Calamity fully hitting the sword, as we saw in the one cutscene in the trailer, it makes you wonder if that busted Demise out of his prison. Now, a lot of people will say, well, he's been eradicated, the remains would be long decayed and gone by now, but then would they? We have no idea what a long time means for someone who is basically a god. If we don't remember who Demise is, he's basically a god. But that's obviously just one theory that Demise is coming back, if not in this game, maybe in a trilogy of Breath of the Wild style games and could be in the next. I've been wanting this game to end with some sort of thing like that. I mean, people have also speculated this is the final game for Ganondorf as well. I don't know if that's true either, uh, but those are some wild theories that are out there. And this is one I don't think is as wild because at least we do know for sure the Master Sword is broken and corrupted. Now, some other interesting things to think about, of course, are what is our journey going to be? Are we going to be trying to restore the power of the Master Sword or is the Master Sword really unrepairable it's just we're never going to have the master sword be what it once was and instead we're going to be doing a final hurrah for the sword what's ever left of it by the end of the game disintegrates and that's it and that's interesting because this has been the hero's blade the bane of existence for ganondorf uh it's been around since it became the master sword back during scoured sword and it's really interesting to think about the idea that the Master Sword could go away because I've been pulling this Master Sword out of stones. I've been using it across Zelda series for seemingly 30 plus years. Like it, I know it wasn't in the original Zelda game, but when they introduced it, it really became this central plot point, right? We could always rely on Zelda, Link, 
Ganon or Ganondorf, and then the Master Sword and the Triforce. Like the, it, it kept being sort of like it was the fourth part of the Triforce, you know, that whole Tetra Force theory. I know, we're not going there, but it, it's really interesting just to think about it. And then you have, obviously, Nintendo showing us the Broken Master Sword and now with a new trademark emphasizing the Broken Master Sword. And why are they trademarking that? I, it could be for merchandise reasons, of course. We could be getting a lot of Broken Master Sword merchandise coming. But look, I... I just want to know your guys' thoughts. I don't have much more to add other than, damn, am I excited to play this game. I'll catch you guys in the next video.